uh, for nothing. You spend that time with the Lord. And my friend, it's very essential. This is actually a command from the Lord that, that you do this. Now, uh, as we go on, um, when you have done this, you would have developed uh, a certain intimacy with the Lord by spending that time. And now, as you move in, it gives way to, the, to your purpose. As you spend that time with the Lord, it gives way to your purpose. You see, now you can minister unto others through the overflow of that relationship with the Lord. When you spend time with the Lord, right, you have that grace and that power, that anointing. Now you can minister unto others from the overflow of that experience with the Lord. So now you're into the, the, your purpose. Now the purpose, like we said before, uh, it says the purpose is not intimacy, but uh, to be abundant food. If we look at verse 8, it says, Herein is my Father glorified, that he bear much fruit, so that he be my disciples. Verse 8 tells you that your purpose, your purpose is to bear fruit. Please understand that. And we would go on. Now, as you abide, uh, that purpose, again, uh, is, is, of course, everything is done through the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Romans 5, 5, that the love of God is spread abroad in our hearts through the Holy Spirit. So with that Holy Spirit working in you, and you listening, and operating under His power, then you begin to do the good works. Even Ephesians 2.10 says, we are created unto good works. So, so this is the process that happens and the Holy Spirit begins to work and to have that love being poured out. And Jesus continues to talk about uh, love one another as I have loved you. So we have abiding, uh, um, uh, comes, uh, the, you have the priority, then you have the purpose, and of course you are blessed. Uh, you are blessed that you may be a blessing to others and that's the purpose. When you abide, when you give that priority to the Lord, uh, uh, you, you absorb that love from, from God and, and what happens, it leads into that process. I'm saying this a few times so that you will truly get it. Uh, there's the priority. Remember this. The four stages, the four aspects. One is the priority of the intimacy. Intimacy is the key here, right? But there is the priority of the intimacy. Unhurried time with the Lord. From the priority flows the purpose. With the purpose, you are operating now from the overflow of that time that you spent with the Lord. And that purpose, again, is an outward expression. Just like the, the priority is also an outward expression. And, and the priority is a, an outward expression toward the Lord. The, the purpose is an outward expression toward others, loving them. And, and, and seeing after others, looking after others, sharing that love to others. And then uh, we have uh, the process. There is a process in this. Now, Jesus talks about uh, the branches that would be cut off. Now, I want to read uh, something here for you in the book of Romans. Uh, Romans uh, chapter 11. You can go there or I'll just go for you. Romans chapter 11. I'll read from verses 17 a few verses. And we'll see uh, when Jesus talks about uh, the branches that do not uh, bear fruit, uh, he cuts them off. The Father cuts them off. Because these branches are not absorbing the life from Christ. They actually, it seems like these branches are rejecting uh, the very true vine. And we'll see back in Romans 11, verse 17 and following, it talks about these uh, these Jews who rejected the new covenant that Jesus could follow. It says, And if some of the branches be broken off, and, and thou, being a wild olive tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partake of the root and fatness of the olive vine, boast not against the branches. Don't boast against the branches, but if thou boast, thou boast not the root but the root be. You understand? It says, verse 19 says, uh, Thou will say then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. See? Here's what he's saying. That these branches were broken off, that I'd be grafted in. 
So these broken off branches don't don't um, be too um, uh, hard on these broken off branches because uh, these branches are broken off. These Jews uh, that rejected the new covenant, when when they were broken off, we the Gentiles were able to come in, and until the full number of the Gentiles are in, then the door is going to be closed. This is everything has a purpose. Everything works together for good for them that love God. It says, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. See why they were broken off? Because of unbelief, they were broken off. The allegory, the branches, because they were not accepted the true vine, because they did not want to connect and take the sap from the true vine, then they were broken off. You see? And, and thou standest by faith. But he says, be not uh, high-minded, but fear. Don't be high-minded about this, but have a fear for the Lord, you see? For if God spared not the natural branch, ha, take heed that he also spared thee not. See, in this he's saying, you see, this branch truly belonged to this olive tree. The Jews truly were God's people, you see? And if God came and he, he, he cut off these branches because they did not believe, you know, how about you who was not belonging originally to the, to, the, to the vine and he cut you off. He will cut you off if you are not uh, truly with him. Verse 22, Romans chapter 11. He says, Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fell severity. He said, But toward thee goodness if thou continue in his goodness. Otherwise thou also shall be cut off. If you don't continue and you act like them, you'll be cut off. If there's another branch that, that was grafted onto this vine and this branch uh, does not uh, connect and, 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 uh, and, and, and get life from the main vine, from the true vine, that too will be cut off. You see, there's a grafting process that we do today. And we cut, we cut a, a branch from, from another uh, uh, tree and we would graft it onto a different tree. And it should grow if the grafting process was good. But if the grafting process was not good, this grafted